Well, May is National Blood Pressure Month, according to the heart attack, heart failure, stroke, and other health issues. Doctor, and the silent killer. So a lot of patients don't even realize that their blood pressure is elevated. Uh, vast majority have zero symptoms whatsoever. Uh, some patients can experience uh, headaches, uh, vision changes, mm. chest pain, shortness of breath, but vast majority have no symptoms. And uh, if untreated for a long period of time, it can affect multiple organ systems. It can cause uh, blindness, strokes, heart attacks, arrhythmias, heart failure, uh, kidney failure. The most common cause of uh, kidney failure and heart failure in the United States is um, high blood untreated pressure. blood pressure. Yeah. Wow. When we, when we talk about high blood pressure, does it impact people of all ages? What's the average age? Can it happen to young, fit people? Yes, sometimes we do see it in young, fit people. Uh, it's usually genetics. Uh, their parents, you know, develop blood pressure at a very young age. And, uh, but vast majority of patients are usually in their 30s and 40s when they start developing blood pressure. and starts creeping up slowly, mm -hmm. and we just have to keep an eye on it. Uh, initially, we try to treat them with conservative measures, lifestyle changes, yeah. and losing weight and becoming active and controlling your diet and so forth. But uh, at a certain point, we usually have to start medications. Are those ways the best ways to treat someone with high blood pressure? Well, it depends. If your blood pressure is just mildly elevated, mm. uh, I like to do therapeutic lifestyle changes, like I mentioned, uh, you know, weight loss and you know, dietary changes and becoming active. But if your blood pressure is elevated to a certain degree, then uh, we have to start medications at that point. I think this is something that we've been eyeballing with myself, you know, going to the doctors. And, you know, I don't partake in fried foods, but it's something that we're watching closely. And I think uh, my, my lineage, my, my, right. my hereditary genes has a little something to do with yeah, it. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't do anything about right. genetics. <laughs> Those triglycerides are <laughs> chronically high. Um, how can you accurately measure your blood pressure at home? All right, that's exactly what I was going to show you here today. So I brought my uh, own personal blood pressure machine. Okay. So when you check your blood pressure at home, you want to make sure that you've not eaten or drinking anything for about 30 minutes prior to, not taking a shower, not smoked uh, cigarettes, uh, about 30 minutes prior to. You shouldn't be smoking anyway. Exactly, you shouldn't be smoking anyway. That's anyways. another conversation <laughs> we can have. Right. Uh, you want to make sure that your feet are firmly planted on the ground, your chair, your back is to the chair, your arm should be out, uh, facing upwards. Um, and so basically, I'll pretend like I'm yes. checking your blood pressure, okay? We are not taking, we're not, because you should not do it at work, right? Exactly. I'm also on a, on a, a chair that's not, you know, touching the ground too. All right. so. Hopefully you're not too stressed out, but you know. No. <laughs> All never. right, so we're going to put the blood pressure cuff on over here. Okay. You want to make sure it's about one inch above the crease over here. Nice and snug. You want to make sure that you can get about one inch of, uh, or sorry, one finger in here. Now, it, 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 should you be, should you have a long sleeve on, or should you no, do it yeah, with a sorry. short sleeve, right? You should do it with, uh, without any uh, clothing between uh, this and the. Uh, the, skin, uh, yeah. the okay. Exactly, and then you just check your blood pressure. And this would generate readings. Explain to us the, the numbers. Again, there are no batteries in this machine right now, but the the numbers that would generate on this screen. Um, Explain them. Explain it to us. What they. What they so mean. the uh, top number is a systolic number. That's the uh, number that basically uh, uh, is the uh, top of your blood pressure when your blood actually is pumped out of the heart. And then the uh, diastolic blood pressure is a lower blood pressure number, which is basically the number uh, uh, as the uh, blood pressure trends down as each beat. Uh, occurs and everybody is different. What what's a healthy range? So uh, normal blood pressure is considered less than 120 over 80. Less than 120 over 80. Correct. Elevated would be 120 to 129. Mm -hmm. Less than 80. Um, and then I, there's different uh, stages or stage one, stage two, and so forth. Okay. How exactly. often should someone check their blood pressure? So it depends. Um, if somebody does not have a history of blood pressure or elevated blood pressure, I recommend just a couple of times a year. Make sure it's, uh, the blood pressure is well controlled. If they do have a history of uh, elevated blood pressures, it depends on how well their blood pressures are controlled. If their blood pressures are not well controlled, I recommend checking the blood pressures daily. Um, and if their blood pressures are generally well controlled, a couple of times a week should be sufficient. Dr. Ansari, where can people go for more information? Uh, you can definitely go to the American Heart Association website, um, and you're more than welcome to see me in clinic or your local cardiologist. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Yeah, we do appreciate it. it.